Speaking in tongues, uh, chapter 2, verse 4, and they're seeing this um, fire coming down over their heads. And they know what this is. It's symbolic of God's purification, his acceptance, his His um, presence, okay? Seeing these, not tongues, uh, but these like divisions of, of fire coming down. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance again. Not they were possessed, but they began to speak with tongues as the Spirit gave them the utterance, gave them the specific words. I'm going to speak in tongues just briefly here as kind of a practice, just to give you an example. I'm going to do it just as a practice. And I'm going to show you that I'm completely conscious right now. I'm going to have um, George put a finger up, or a couple fingers, in front of the screen and um, however many fingers he wants on one hand. And as I'm speaking in tongues, I will then tell you, um, after I've finished speaking in tongues, how many fingers he put up. So you'll see that I'm completely conscious, okay? So this is a part of the brain that um, the scientists are finding is actually a part of the brain that is activated, that lights up when someone is speaking in tongues. Prayer, perfect prayer. Sometimes we don't even know what to pray for, the Bible says. But it says, but the Spirit gives us the words. Pray for. Uh, also is building up my inner man. Okay, so I'm going to start speaking in tongues. I schluck ab in hunter stief akruit at. Okay, he held up three fingers. I was completely conscious. I realized he was holding up the fingers. It was time for me to do it. But it's a part of my brain that is separate, see, from, anyway. Trust me, just try it. Uh, you don't have to be especially good. You don't have to, like, repent of all your sins. I mean, who can do that? Just tell, who knows? We, don't even, we, don't, we have sins of omission and sins of commission. We have things we don't even know we did. So if you just say, Father, I'm sorry for anything I've done. I just want to... I want to start communicating with you in the tongue of tongues of men or of angels. These this tongue you're speaking in could be a, a known tongue that exists on earth right now. Sometimes that happens when people start speaking in tongues, they're in foreign countries and people understand them exactly what they're saying. And it's always things that build up and edify and talk about how great God is. That's what people hear. That's what happened on the day of day of Pentecost. Or it could be the tongue of angels or it could it could be tongue, you could be speaking in an angel tongue. Fascinating stuff.